Cities, with their black asphalt ground, miles and miles of paved road, and skyscraping buildings, are sponges for heat. In fact, most large metropolitan areas, like New York City, are a few degrees warmer than their rural surroundings. Scientists have given this widespread phenomena a name, the urban heat island. Stuart Gaffin, a scientist at Columbia University's Center for Climate Systems Research, studies the urban heat island effect. Uh, there's a lot to say about it, what's causing it and so forth. It's not related to the greenhouse effect. It's, it's just a, a, a land use uh, phenomena. And, and when we build cities, we, we alter the landscape profoundly, as everyone knows, and we do it in ways that really trap a lot of heat. Uh, a number of factors which are characteristic of cities contribute to the urban heat island. Uh, well, there's a lot of interesting things in cities that lead to the heat island. Um, first of all, there's things like uh, the dark surfaces that we all talk about, the rooftops, pavement. These are really burning, burning surfaces. I measure temperatures on these things all the time. Uh, they, you know, there's a, pr a huge amount of them. Uh, a typical city in the United States probably has 10% of its land area is rooftops. In New York, it's more like 13%, and it ad ad actually adds up to, we, s we think, somewhere between 30 and 40 square miles of New York metropolitan area is rooftop. So think about 30 or 40 square miles of this ultra-hot surface. And then there's the streets that are doing similar things. Heat in cities can cause all sorts of problems from dangerous heat waves, to air quality deterioration, to harmful effects on local ecology. And then there are the energy demands that come with the rising summer temperatures. And uh, then the other thing is um, the, uh, the energy demand it, it creates in the summer times. These peak energy demands are astonishing uh, to air condition ourselves out of these things. And the urban heat island is just making it harder and harder for us to meet that demand. And then if you, know, if you throw a heat wave in with a blackout, that's when you really you know, start to worry about Death. Um, then One of the ways to mitigate the urban heat island effect is with green roofs, roofs with soil and vegetation. Plants reflect the heat instead of absorbing it, making the rooftop significantly cooler. Gaffin and other researchers at Columbia University are quantifying the beneficial effects of green roofs by using their green roof research station. Here, Gaffin has seen what a powerful effect putting plants on a roof can have. I mean, basically, uh, it gets rid of the, the heat bias of a roof membrane. Basically, you know, plants are nature's geniuses at staying uh, cool in, in sunlight. Um, they can do it like no other living thing probably can. And, uh, you know, they're optimized to really uh, thermoregulate. But the answer is, um, you know, on a typical hot summer, a normal summer day, let's say it's 80 degrees out, I, I go up to a typical black roof, it's going to be the membrane that you're standing on is easily going to get up to 150, 160, 170 degrees. Last summer, one of the roofs we monitored during the heat wave got up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, at the same time, the green roofs, which are living plants, were close to the air temperature. So if it's an 80 degree day and a black roof is 150, 160, that, that green roof is probably going to be 85. You know, that's how powerful plants are at staying cool. The researchers have also found that green roofs have other benefits, such as their ability to hold rainwater and thus reduce stormwater runoff. You know, um, if you put four inches of a green roof on a, on a building, uh, each square foot could hold up to a gallon of water. Um, you know, that's, that's quite a bit when you uh, th think about, um, you know, again, that 30 square miles uh, of water that's normally going to just run off into the system and overflow. Uh, but if we had these green systems, which are essentially like sponges, we're re really reintroducing the magic of soil back into cities and um, you know, trying to control that flow. So In the end, putting up green roofs will not only be good for our cities and the environment, but also our health. They would be hugely valuable if we could cool off cities because, you know, that's where the people are. And even if the world heats up, if we can protect, you know, the... Uh, residents of cities from these extreme you know, temperature uh, way, uh, temperatures which we predict will happen, you know, that might be one of our ways out of this problem.